Facebook, I'm bringing you another Sensi video. Um, this time I'll be joined by my middle daughter, Grace. Uh, she's going to help me out with first sniffs of the new fall and winter testers. Um, super excited. All of these scents will be available uh, September 1st. So I encourage you guys to watch the video, pick your faves, make me a list, and send me your order. So the Scentsy Classics have pretty much stayed the same. Uh, we have had a couple new additions. So the first one is Blue Grotto. I think it was a scent of the month at one point. Which one is this one? Blue Grotto. They're going to bring it back as part of our Classics collection. I remember this one from like a little while ago. What do you think it smells like? Like perfumey. You think it's perfumey? I, yeah, it's tropical. The scent notes say, run away with fresh tropical notes, sweet citrus, and lush botanicals. What does botanicals mean? Like plants? Oh, yes. uh, okay. Mm, Let me see it. It's not too perfumey. It's definitely floral, but it's tropical. It reminds me of vacation. Right? Yeah. It smells like it. Cuba. Yeah, drink fruity drinks by the pool. <laughs> It's a good one. So that's going to be part of our classics collection, as well as Ocean. I have a feeling this will remind us of holidays, too. I like that one. I've smelled it. Yeah, I think there's... This one's been available before, or it is available. Yeah, because I was looking through a catalog and it was in it. Hmm. So maybe it's not. That one smells like lotion. You think so? Yeah, like scented lotion or something from, like, Bath and Body Works. Yeah. Ocean's nice. Uh, I almost smells salty. You think it smells salty? A little bit. Let's see what the scent notes for that say. It's like sick, so. <laughs> yeah, your nose is a little My stuffy. My nose is stuffy. <laughs> cool and refreshing exotic no aquatic notes deepened with water lilies and ocean breezes. Do you smell lilies? I don't really smell flora. You? A little bit, like you can, I don't know, it reminds me of like a lotion, like it smells like my childhood for some reason. <laughs> like <laughs> lotion from when I was a baby, I don't know. Um, so the next one that we're going to do is Bubblegum Blast. It's a new addition to the kids collection. Um, I was kind of excited about this because we just had Bubblegum as part of the June Bring Back My Bar winner. I ordered like six bars of that. We have one. Oh my gosh, I am like a teenager and I love that. Even though but it's this is kids. different though. Like I know in my bring back my bar haul review, I talked about like the bubblegum scent reminding me of like trading cards, like bubblegum from trading cards. This reminds me more of like Bazooka Joe, like cheap bubblegum. Bazooka. I hate to say that. It was sensey. It smells cheap, but I don't know. Like, it's good. It, it does smell like bazooka bubblegum. Like, there was this it? whole song. Like, everyone would chew this bazooka bubblegum. There was a song for it. And everyone had it, and that's exactly what it smells like. She you smelled this the other night, and she's like, I really like that one. What's it called? And then <laughs> as soon as I said bubblegum, she was kind of like, hmm. Like, that's for kids. <laughs> <laughs> okay, did you? But that's cool. Anybody can like it. So the next one is going to be bigger. It's um, the, what is the Scentsy Fall and Winter New Release Selection. So the first one is Apple and Cinnamon Sticks. Oh, that's really nice. Uh, my favorite it's not fall. like um, your typical boring fall cinnamon scent. It's apple peel, spiced white pumpkin with a touch of oak. Fall is like my favorite season, and I know like you're a sensei consultant and everything. I was like so pumped, I'm like I can't wait for like the entire house to just smell like cinnamon. <laughs> yeah, like fall. Yeah. This one is nice. I think we're gonna put this in my pile to make a list. Make a definitely, list. Definitely. Order for our house. So that was apple and cinnamon sticks. It's much more than just your regular boring cinnamon. So the next one is also cinnamon. Holly Berry Cinnamon. <clears throat> cinnamon. Oh, that reminds me of 
the green color and brown color always like scares me. <laughs> I think it's gonna smell bad <laughs> yeah. if it's green or brown. <laughs> but it smells like, you know what this smells like? It smells like a craft store. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like you walk into some stores and that's exactly what it smells like. Like Michael's craft store. And like the wreath section at Michael's yeah. craft store. Yeah. <laughs> I, I feel like, like the smell of Michael's. This is what this is. It smells so like right. m- it smells like Michael's. It smells like craft store. <laughs> so the next one is Homestead Holiday. Oh, that's good. Wow. Homestead Holiday. Oh, that's really good. Is that like a fall one? I can't tell. It's Christmas. Blood, orange, and cinnamon, freshened by fir needle. What is fir needle? Pine. Oh. Like tree? Fir tree? Oh, okay. Yeah. Not pine, but fir. Oh, that's really good. Homestead holiday. <laughs> the next one I was super excited about when I first read the scent notes, couldn't wait to get the tester of Hug and a Mug. I haven't smelled this one at all. I knew that you would like this one. It's brown. It's brown. Beware, it's brown. It's just smelling like poo. <laughs> Since he has a scent for everything, but poo, not yet. <laughs> that one smells like hot chocolate. Mmm, smells exactly like hot chocolate. Uh, let's see what the scent is. Let me roll hot chocolate. Curl up with chocolate, hazelnut, and cookie dough. Oh, cookie dough. Deadly. <laughs> I want to warm this one. Cold, this one smells like hot chocolate, but I'd be interested to see yeah. what it smells like once it's warming. Do they smell different when they're, like, melted? Oh, I think so, for sure. Some of them, I don't like the smell of them when they're warming, but I think they smell great. Cold. Cold. <laughs> okay, so the next one is glacial ice. Glacial. Glacial. Oh. It's so warm in my house right now. All my testers are sweating. So I just put them in the fridge. That one's nice too. That one smells like um. Hey, like wait. The, we need to put hug and a mug in our order pile. Okay. That one smells like like Lipsil. Like so minty, like Lipsil. Like Blistex. Yeah, like Blistex. I feel like Not I relate Blistex. to the. Yeah, I know Lipsil. Yeah, I feel like I relate to like the weirdest things. <laughs> a touch of wild berry cooled by frosty mistletoe. But it smells good. That one's good. And that like, one will smell excellent warming. Like, if I could describe, like, the first couple weeks of, like, Christmas break, that's what it was like. Okay, so the next one is uh, orange clove and omander. Is that another Christmas one? Uh, yeah, I would say this is going to be Christmassy. Doesn't really smell, sound like a Christmassy name. Is my sniffer broken? Because that just smells like wax. Uh, let me see it. Maybe we smell too many? <laughs> I can't tell. No. When did I get, like, coffee grinds? Is that what it is? If you, like, smell coffee grinds, it gets rid of the scent. Yeah. Yeah. That one also smells like craft store. Yeah, it does a little bit. Um, I thought this one would be stronger. Maybe it... It's just this tester isn't the best. I'm not sure. It could be. It could smell better when it's like warmed though. So the next one is love and happiness. Um, this one is really nice. Smell that. That one also smells like perfume. Glazed chestnuts, vanilla, and sugar cane define temptation. It smells like kind of like it's fruity almost. I don't. Do you smell, smell chestnuts? I don't even know what chestnuts smell like. Do you smell chestnut? No. No. Do you smell vanilla? No. I and smell sugar cane. It I smell sugar cane and fruit. Not fruit. To me, it smells floral and perfumey. Yeah. Same thing. Maybe our sniffers are broken. Mine definitely is. You have allergies. Time be. So, next one is painted leaves. Next one, sure. Painted leaves. That's nice. My customer, Felicia, you're going to love this. Painted leaves is wander through blue spruce, red maple, and golden woods. That's exactly what it smells like fall. <coughs> First week of school. Like, no. walk the dog in the forest. 
that's what it smells like. First week of school. Next one would be Pretty and Plum. <clears throat> well, I never smelled the sweet plum pastry, which like everybody was just raving about in blogs and people do scentsy blogs. Yeah. There's scentsy nerds all over the place. I'm not the only one. Oh, there's way worse scentsy nerds than me. Okay, so smell pretty and plum. Red plum gets pastry perfect with black coconut and sweet cream. That one's nice. I think I'm definitely going to put that on our order list. Not what do you think? It's like strong. You think so? Cool. I can definitely smell the coconut. It's strong, like but it's, it's okay. This is great. So the next one I was really excited about when I read the scent notes because some of my favorite scents are in Quiet Grove. It says a spell of bergamot, jasmine, and sandalwood. Oh, I think this is going to be a new favorite. Yeah, that one smells like, not perfume, but like... No, this is so nice. I think the bergamot... And sandalwood make it so unisex. Like, I think men could definitely get down with yeah. that. Yeah. It smells like... And I mean, I like, I like sandalwood. it. I like, 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 like that kind of thing. Like, not like men's cologne, but like... I don't yeah, know how to describe it. Yeah, unisex scent, like, for sure. Like, smells like that. It's beautiful. I would recommend Quiet Grove to everybody. My favorite so far. Definitely. The next one is Spiced Fruit. Cider. Put it on this bowl. Ooh, I'm not a huge fan of anything with cider, but let's try it out. What cider? Like that drink? Yeah, like apple cider. Apple cider. I had apple like cider hot once at Anna's. Ass in a cup. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> Nana gave it to me once. It was like me and Tatum. She gave it to us. Pomegranate juice but it's and not that sweet bad. orange simmered with cinnamon stick. It's pretty good. I kind of, I kind of like it though. It's great as a home fragrance. I don't want it in a hot <laughs> steaming cup ass. of disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> so it's spiced fruit cider is good. Definitely smells like Christmas to me. You don't want that? Next one is sweet cream spice. I love this one. There's one, something at Bath & Body Works that reminds me of this. Yeah, that um, definitely, like I've... I've it smells like Mary Cookie. Yeah. If you ever get Bath and Body Works candles, Mary, sweet Mary cream cookie or something. Spice smells like Mary Cookie, but way better. This is definitely going in the keep pile or the Berry, order Mary pile. Mary Cookie, that's what it was. From Bath and Body Works. Uh, gingerbread donut is next. Heavenly Golden Gingerbread Spice Donut and Vanilla Bean. That smells delicious. It smells like coffee. It smells like vanilla bean. It smells like frap. If they had... It does kind of smell like Starbucks. Yeah, if they had, like, a gingerbread donut drink at Starbucks, that's what it would smell like. Yeah. It smells like True. It smells like Starbucks. Coffee. Starbucks is So, Vanilla Ode is next. Sweet vanilla grounded by leather and ode wood. Leather. And it's brown. This one's beautiful. It's brown. Doesn't smell like poop, I promise. <laughs> but it smells like leather. <laughs> Doesn't smell like leather either. Uh, no. You're not into it? Uh, not for me. This is one that I was really looking forward to. You like that one? I, I mean, love this I one. don't. I don't hate it, but I. I wouldn't put it in my room. No. If you put it in your room, I wouldn't. I wouldn't really be mad. I just wouldn't want it. I wouldn't enter the room. But it's okay. Perfect. I'm going to put this in my room and teach her the kids so that vanilla ode is delicious. Don't listen to her. She'll know nothing. So the next one is toasted coconut and amaretto. I was also really excited about this one when I saw it on the scent list. I think that smells good. Almond, praline cream, and just a hint of anise. That one smells like almond. Yeah. I don't know what almonds smell like. That's the amaretto. Amaretto is almond, right? Like mm -hmm. the same thing? Yeah. Okay. That's what it smells like. It smells like almonds, like nuts. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. That one's really good. 
So the next one is, oh, so Sensi has replaced our spot in the catalog for Sensi Man and Sensi Romance. They've just combined them together and now there's going to be a section in our fall and winter called Darling and Dashing. So you're going to find a lot of our classics, either Sensi Man or Sensi Romance, like Atlantic Air, Amazon Rain, um, My Dear Watson, Mystery Man, um, all those goodies, but now they're just going to be all lumped into one. Not so much men and women, now it's just Darling and Dashing. Because I think a lot of girls like the guys' ones and vice versa. Uh, so the first one that they've added is Bergamon and Solar Driftwood, which is formerly number 71 of our groom line. I like that one. This one is also very oh, unisex. Yeah, it's unisex, but it's kind of stronger. It's stronger, more masculine. But I could get down with that. Sure. Bergamot, sea spray, and solar amber. Sea spray. I like seaweed. Oh, is it like? Super refreshing. Like, uh, I think this would be great in the bathroom. Yeah. The next one is citrus rosemary. Uh, oh, that one's nice. That one's super clean. Yeah. Super, super, super clean. Doesn't smell like cleaning product. Um, soothe your minimalist soul with sweet orange, lemon balm, and rosemary fig. What's fig? Oh, fig. I like this one, though. I don't know. It's I don't like know. It's pretty strong. Yeah. But maybe, like, it's a probably going to be a top performer, so I'd put it, like, in a kitchen or, like, a high traffic area where you know that you're going to have um, odor. Mm. The next one is Mandarin Grapefruit Amber, which was formerly number 36 in our ladies' groom, or ladies' body, I suppose. Oh, that one's really nice. I actually like that one though. I should make a shampoo like that. Yeah. Sensi, 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 Sensi shampoo. Sensi yeah, shampoo. Yeah, but this is probably gonna have a body wash of this. Yeah. 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 This one's delicious. The Sensi packaging is always really cute. Find the scent notes. Uh, sweet mandarin, fresh grapefruit, and warm amber. I pretty much love anything that has amber notes in it. It's beautiful it's just really yeah. warm and it smells kind of like the amazing. one that we just did which one is the one we just did i don't know so the it. next <laughs> one look how many we've smelled like yeah. there's no way we'd know it smells similar yeah so the next one is peach and white amber which was formerly number 82 um deep floral notes and earthy provocative amber cast an alluring but decidedly elegant smell or spell, sorry. Oh, this one's walkers. even better. Oh, I like that one. Yeah, that smells like something. I don't know. Is that in the bathroom right now? No. It smells like I recognize that smell so It smells. You like think this like smells like Amazon rain? Yeah. I think we have Amazon rain in the bathroom. Probably. It doesn't smell like it. A little bit. A little bit. What would be the same in Amazon rain? I don't know, but it kind of smells like that. Amazon Rain might have amber in it too. Yeah, I, just I like it though. It smells good. It smells like um, anything with the amber. There is this one scentsy thing in it. Like, do they have like scentsy candy soap smells? Cause you know what would be so cool, like a fuzzy peach scentsy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd put that so in my the room. next one is Persian lime and sandalwood. I was super excited about this one too. Amber, sandalwood, jasmine, all my favorites. This one's nice. It's another unisex smell. Yeah. That reminds me of, like, the beach. Like, beachy days, beachy, beachy vibes. I don't know what this is. You're an old soul dreaming of something new. Find fresh possibilities in tangy lime, bergamot, and sandalwood. Yeah, bergamot and sandalwood. You know what I mean? Like, beachy vibes? Mm-hmm. I think that's the lime in it. Uh, definitely. This one's Tropical. awesome. This one, it's, this one would make... For an amazing 
shower gel for men. That one smells delicious. So the next one is Pink Haze. Um, this used to be in our line before, and it was discontinued and then brought back again. Hang on. Uh, a sweet confection of berries, nectarines, and vanilla-laced whipped cream nestled in marshmallow fondant. Fondant. I feel like I'm saying like one keyword. I don't know. Fondant. What does fondant smell like? I don't think that this would be a top performer. Yeah, like, it's kind of light. It's so light. It's really light. I don't know if that one... I feel like it's like... You'd have yeah, to put this nice, in a though. really small bedroom. Yeah, it's nice because like it's Our not bathroom. as strong. You know what it I mean? It is nice. But I just don't think it could do a big room. Yeah. If it was in like the living room, like... Our living room and dining room and kitchen is all kind of like, like there's an island and an opening. If we put it in here, then you probably wouldn't like really be able to smell it. No, that's what I said. Put it in a small. Yeah, room. put it in, like my size bedroom would really be nice. Okay, so the next one is pineapple coconut vanilla, formerly number nine and one of my all-time favorites. Um, we have this in the whipped body souffle, and it is to die for you're born to run free that is ride the wind alongside coconut pineapple blush and blue fig so they basically turned our sensi body care into a bar wait that's the one that we have the bottle yeah that's definitely going in the order pile isn't that delicious <laughs> we'll that? take ten. <laughs> Actually, though. Because they'll steal mine and melt all my bars. Okay, so the next one is sea salt and avocado. This one came in our Scentsy Bricks this spring and was a huge, huge, huge popular seller. Not at all what I was expecting. It smells like a spa to me. Like, yeah. this is what you smell like when you go to a spa. Sea salt and avocado. Someone give me a tooth. You do you. Well, pink sea salt, Valencia orange, and creamy avocado keep your spirit in flight. So it's beautiful. Yeah. Like Again, that. super unisex smell. Like, I think men would really like this in the shower gel or so on and so forth. I think we should put that in the pile, Mom. It's going to be awesome. I guess definitely in our order pile. So... Scentsy Fall and Winter new releases. Where are they? Autumn Sunset. I also was thinking of Felicia when I saw the scent notes on this one. You know, a customer who just loves fall and winter scents, she'll warm them all summer. Actually? Yeah, that's she what just I do. loves them. That one also smells like Michael's. Yeah, a little bit. It does. Apples, pumpkins, fall leaves, and spices. A top ten fragrance. And Michael's craft store. <laughs> and Michael's craft store. <laughs> this one is awesome. I definitely would think that this is a top performer. We could probably put it in a large open concept room like the one that we're in right now, and you'd be able to smell it. Especially if you put it in an element warmer, anything ten or above. It would be awesome. The next one is Blackberry Orange Marmalade. I wasn't sure how I felt about this one, but I think the blackberry smells amazing. Yeah. I mean... So it says orange marmalade and blackberry jam over sugar crystals. I can definitely smell the sugary yeah. notes in it. I want Scentsy to come out with shampoo and conditioner and perfume. <laughs> we do have roller bars. Like, well, we have perfume, yeah. Why and don't I know this? <laughs> I'll show you. It's in our book. Okay, so Cider Mill is the next one. Cider Mill brings together fresh apples, crushed pumpkin, and simmering spices for a cozy autumn treat. Oh, <laughs> you know exactly what you're going to sell or say. Michael's Cross Store. Michael's Cross Store. <laughs> That's exactly what it smells like. Why do all these smells like Michael's? Like, can I check this for like sponsored by Michael's? Like, yeah. what is this? Cider Peter cider. Other one, cider. Do you, think, do you think Michael's is like hot ass in a cup? 
<laughs> Do you think Michael's craft store is like in My partnership mom with Sensi? Loves giving a cider. And you go over to her house, she's like, here, drink this. Oh, no thanks. <laughs> this Christmas is nice time. though. Yeah, I actually I kinda the, like that one the more. Cedar in it. An autumn melody of reddest apples, cinnamon sticks, and vanilla beans nestled among fragrant white cedar branches. And like I can normally, definitely smell the cedar in this. And I think that that tones everything down, just mellows it out. And normally, like, scents, like, strong scents, like, make me have, like, headaches and stuff. You know what I mean? Like, I can't stay in a bath in Bayork for long. But, like, normally with scents, it's either kind of strong, but okay, but soft and, like, amazing. <laughs> yeah. So this one is Cashmere Pear. Slip into sensual white amber. Madagascar vanilla, silky pear, and warm red ginger, a blend as smooth and luxurious as fine spun cashmere. That was a long description. Yeah, it was. I kind of <laughs> like it. That one smells like Tia's house. Yeah. Yeah. Like bougie perfume. Smells good. I like it. Cashmere pear. So the next one is farm stand pumpkin. Gonna smell like back to school. No. Okay, bye guys. <laughs> Gotta go. <laughs> Ooh, indulgent notes of fresh apple, cinnamon stick, pumpkin, and caramel. I definitely smell the caramel in there. Yeah. I, that's like the only thing that I smell is caramel. What else is in it? Pum- fresh cinnamon apple, stick. cinnamon stick, pumpkin, and caramel. So like cinnamon and caramel. I like this one. There's several... Pumpkin ones, so I think we're gonna have to pick which ones we like the best. There's a Christmas one that I smelled earlier, and I want that one. So, next one is Honey Pear Cider. Lots of cider. <laughs> you see a theme going on? Where's the end? Let's see Michael's if this one and cider. Like <laughs> Michael's. <laughs> Where's Nana? Nana oh, definitely smell the pear. Fresh, juicy pear, sweet honey, together with huddle scents of ginger root, cinnamon, and clove. I definitely smell the pear. That one doesn't <clears throat> smell so much like Michael's. Like it's, it smells no. more like pears. I don't smell. Why is everything for the fall? I don't like smell cider? the clove. I don't really know what clove smells like, though. Oh, yes, you do. Clove oil? I put it on your teeth. <laughs> no. And you have a sore teeth? Yeah. You know no. what clove smells like. Mm. I know what it tastes like, too, unfortunately. Yeah. Not Gosh. such a huge fan of pear. Okay, so the next one is very snowy spruce. I don't know how I feel about pine for home fragrances. Whenever I smell pine, I just remember those like tree shaped things for people's car, and I'm like, Oof. it smells like might be nice at Christmas. It smells like booty, like spicy. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, but it might be nice at Christmas. Yeah, like, like in the um, in the foyer, like the front entrance. Yeah, yeah. Not, at not at Christmas time and mm-hmm. only Christmas time, I think. <laughs> yeah. Or mixed in a large room like this, if you had like very snowy one. spruce on one side and something cranberry or cinnamon on the other. Yeah. That would be cranberry, really nice. cranberry in that. Yeah. Mixer. What if like you actually took like two wax. Like, and cut it, like, cut one in half and then put them t- together in the same one room. Yeah. Could you make, like, your own scent? Yes, babe. I do that all the time. Okay, so the next one is Cinnamon Bear. Crisp, spicy cinnamon, reminiscent of Red Hot's candy with a touch of cloves. I feel like if I ever did that, I'd get, like, sacrificed by the scentsy gods. <laughs> I don't know. Just smell, please. What does that smell? I don't It smells like cinnamon. Yeah, cinnamon red hot candy with a touch of clove. I don't smell cloves. Do you smell cloves? Yeah, kind of. Oh, yeah, you're right. Cinnamon is definitely the top now. A little bit of cloves afterwards. Mm-hmm. Mm, I think that one might give me a headache. Cranberry garland would be next. Sweet tart cranberry grounded by sage and earthy pine cones. I actually really love that one. Mm. But don't it you think like it's neat? Apple. The blend? You smell apple? Yeah. Like apple, cinnamon, cider. I can smell the pine cones in it. It's 
blend. I think it's a great blend. This is a great blend. Cranberry Garland, for sure. So the next one is Lavender and White Balsam. Ooh. I don't know what that one smells like. You can definitely smell lavender, but this is such a nice twist on lavender. Because I usually find lavender. lavender so boring. Yeah. The white balsam in it, it's just really warm and inviting. Not so boring. Okay, so the next one we have is Everything Nice. Super excited about this one. Sugar and spice and everything nice. Deep caramel and swirls of butter with roasted pumpkin and glazed pecan. Oh, I want to eat that one. Kinda. Everything nice is definitely a gourmand scent, yeah. and I love gourmand scents in the fall. The next one is pumpkin marshmallow. Super excited. Love pumpkin. So we already had farm stand pumpkin, which was a hit. Well, then we just pumpkin and marshmallow. Oh, I don't know. You know those candies are like, it's like chocolate coated marshmallows. Mm -hmm. That's what that smells like. But like fall chocolate covered marshmallows. I don't know if I'm such a fan. I don't know. I don't really like it. I don't really like. It smells like coconut. If you smell it, it smells mm -hmm. like coconutty. Like that, no. I can smell coconut in it. A little bit. Coconut marshmallow, not pumpkin. Maybe I should order this and warm it because sometimes it doesn't smell so great cold and then I'm really impressed when it warms. Mm, as far as the pumpkin selection so far, I'm still a fan of farm stand pumpkin for sure. Next one, speaking of pumpkin, is pumpkin roll. Creamy pumpkin pie filling surrounded with yellow cake, pecans, butter, and spice. Fall is just like all pumpkin. That one's nice. Oh, I really like this one. <clears throat> this is kind of like a... Okay, so pumpkin roll is kind of like farm stand pumpkin and everything nice had a baby and then they made this one. <laughs> pumpkin roll. We're getting all three of these. Okay. Sounds good to me. So the next one is Peppermint Rush, and I know my oldest daughter will be a super fan of anything with peppermint in it. Oh, peppermint, sweet vanilla, and and an accord of freshly fallen snow. I don't like peppermint. No? Nope. No. Nope. Tatum had this um, I do like mix. this. It's really clean. It's okay. Like, yeah, it smells clean, but like... Tatum, I don't like peppermint. Okay, this smells like those red and white candies. That's what it smells like, right? Yeah. Tatum. Like those little mints that you smell. What is that noise? Okay. That's the thing. So the next one on our list is Scentsy Holiday section. New Caramel Vanilla Delight. I think I'm going to be a huge fan of this one. A gourmand scent again. Vanilla ice cream, liquid caramel, and a splash of white rum. Hello. No, it also smells like kind of like coffee. Starbucks. Mm, I think that's the rum Probably. that makes it <laughs> smell like this one. so awesome. Nice. Okay, this is definitely caramel vanilla delight is on the order first pile. We need a new pile. Must order. Put this Absolutely one in there. Absolutely. I like today. this one. Okay, so Christmas Cottage. Where is that one? A cozy, inviting blend of Valencia oranges, raspberries, cloves, and spices. <laughs> I know exactly what you're going to say. Why does everything smell like Michael's? <laughs> <laughs> like, it. Ugh. Oh, it's good, though. It smells like Christmas. Yeah. Or Michael's. Or Michael's. Uh, the next one is clove and cinnamon. I don't know about the clove. You want to like order cinnamon? This one? Definitely. <laughs> Michaels. <laughs> but clove reminds me of a toothache. Yeah. Nope. Just make your teeth hurt. Yep. <laughs> I can feel it. <laughs> Anytime anything is wrong with her mouth, I always put mm -hmm. clove oil in her mouth until it's I can get them to a gross. dentist. 
Oh yeah, it is, but okay. Oh yeah. Whatever. So the next one is Cozy Fireside Warm Spice Notes with Zesty Ginger and Cinnamon. I'm not typically a fan of ginger in home fragrance. Ginger, ginger again. I use ginger to treat upset tummies, so... Yeah. I smell ginger and it reminds me of when the kids get sick. Clove reminds me yeah. of when they have toothaches. Toothaches. Whatever. We're just... mm, cozy Fireside, not my favorite. Next one is Eskimo Kiss. I've heard great things about Eskimo Kiss. Oh, I love that. Yeah, it smells good. I like the name of it. Yeah, Eskimo Kiss is cute. That one's so nice. Blackberry jam, caramelized brown sugar, vanilla, and amber. There we go again. Amber. I love anything with amber in it. Yeah. And a softly romantic scent. Eskimo Kiss is winner, winner, chicken dinner. So the next one is Iced Pine. More tree scents. Where is yeah. it? Right here, I think. Is that it? No. No. I don't know where ice pine is. Uh, we have a disaster here. <laughs> it was so nice. Oh, nice. Yeah. I think we've lost ice pine. That one was pretty good, though. I'm going to take a guess and say it probably smells like trees. Yeah. And or Michaels. Yeah, or Michaels, and I'm not really a fan of tree smells, so <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Pass. Pass. It's here somewhere. I remember it was a white one. So random. I don't know. It disappeared. Okay, what's the next one? Uh, yeah, let's move on to the next one. It's here somewhere. Peppermint Dreams. A warm rush of chocolate cupcake sweetness cooled by a blast of fresh mint. Um, yeah, no, smell, all I can smell in that is really mint and chocolate. After eight, those, you know those after eight, those chocolate mint sticks that Nan always has at Christmas time? No. Oh, uh, yeah. If you like after eight, you'll like that, because that's exactly what it smells like. It's just chocolate and Peppermint pine. patties, uh, that's what it smells peppermint like. Peppermint patties, yeah, exactly. Here's ice pine. I found it. I was hiding. Oh, I think I might like that one better than Snowy Spruce. Mm, I like Snowy Spruce better. Do you? Where did that go? I just saw it here. We're losing everything. I like the Very other Snowy one. Spruce, this one? Yeah. Let's open it and smell them together. Remember oh, Michaels? yeah, you're right. Very Snowy Spruce? Yeah. Ice Pine. I like very snowy, very snowy spruce better. Yeah, because there's a little bit more to very snowy spruce than just tree. My nose is ice pine dark. is nice, but again, I think I would mix it with like cranberry garland or something, something other than just pine all by itself. <laughs> so we did peppermint dreams. Next is snowberry, a luscious blend of loganberry, strawberry, peppermint. And zesty cinnamon. And zesty cinnamon. <laughs> smells like Bath and Body Works. Something, yeah. one of the Bath and Body Works candles. It definitely, it smells like soapy. Like soap. Yeah. Yeah, they're soap and one of their candles for sure. What is that? Oh, I can't remember. One of Bath and Body Works. Fresh Bikes. sparkling snow. Christmas candles and body smells like that. So the next one is, we're getting to the end here, Very Merry Cranberry Lush Red Winter Berries pop against a backdrop of snow-covered cedar, creating a lovely winter landscape. I want to meet the person who writes these descriptions. Yeah, or the names. I don't mind the names, but the descriptions, I'm like, wow, it's wax. Relax. <laughs> Take a chill pill. <laughs> Very merry Christmas. I want that one. That's the one that I smelled before, and I want it. Yeah, it's good. It's it's cranberry, but so much more. I remember I asked you for like a um, 
cranberry cherry scent smelling um scentsy one a couple days ago. And yeah. if I wanted like a cranberry or like raspberry scenting, scented one, this is what I would go for. I like this one a lot. Next one is Silver Bells. I like this one too. And that one kind of, I don't know. It's got peppermint in it yeah. for sure. And let's see the scent notes. Minty candy canes dance over warm and welcoming pear. Dance. All enveloped in a velvety blanket of caramel and vanilla sugar. I don't really... Oh, maybe I do smell the pear. Yeah, kind of. The mint is like a top note for sure. The pear is definitely... The pear is there. Can we smell it? And yeah. I definitely smell the vanilla sugar. Mm-hmm. You can smell like vanilla. And not like so much caramel, pear. but yeah. I don't smell the caramel. caramel and the pear, not so much. But mint, vanilla, sugar, for sure. Definitely. I don't smell caramel at all in that one. So I think that is it. Did we do them all? Yep. Wow. So super excited. That was my first sniffs of our fall and winter releases. Super exciting. We've got our harvest collection, our holiday collection, fall and winter new releases, our darling and dashing. It's going to be a super exciting month come September 1st. In the meantime, I am encouraging everyone to get their orders in in August of all of our classics and our favorites while everything is 10% off. Shoot me a message. My info is down below in the comments. I apologize. 41 minutes. This is super long, but we went over some amazing scents. So a lot. shoot me a message. Send me your order for 10% off spring and summer or send me your pre-orders for September 1st. I'd be happy to help you out and join me on Facebook as well. Yeah. Make sure to like and subscribe. Follow the Sensi. What is it? Sensi with Sarah Lynn on Facebook. Yes. Link in the description. Also, that's it. Is that what we're done? Yep. Yeah. Thanks so much. Bye.